Hi, I'm Sarah. Here's my van, and here's me working on it. It's been a long journey already, but pretty soonish, I hope to be traveling around the US in my self converted van. I also have to figure out how I'm going to work my 9 to 5 from the van, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I've already done the demoing, cleaning, and planning, but as we know, plans change. But this week, I finally get to build something. Hi, everybody, welcome back to my van build series. First of all, I just wanted to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my friends, and all of my family for continuing to support this journey. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on what I am doing. So this video was supposed to be me building out my bed frame, which you'll quickly realize is not the case, and instead I will be doing my wheel well boxes. As always, all of the tools I'll be using in this video are going to be linked down below in the description and the Google Sheet link. So let's get started. Wrap on the journey that we're always on To the floor hit the road See everything under the sun Alright, first piece of framing out my van is going to be putting up some 2x6 studs on the sides of my van to support my bed um, Oh, Frankie Come on, Frank Here comes Frankie to interrupt the day Hi, Frankie Oh, okay, that's enough. So I have some hex washer slotted screws to put into the side of the van. We have these metal U brackets to, once those are in, we're gonna put this on and that's where the two by fours are gonna sit to actually support the mattress. Okay, so change of plans a little. We're still gonna put it right here, but I want it to be a little higher than possible in order to put a mini fridge under it. So we're cutting some legs instead. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so I can't really explain it, but <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Everybody keep running. Everybody keep running All right change of plan surprise surprise we are going to build out the wheel well boxes now instead of putting the bed frame on the wall because things aren't working and hopefully this will help
so we are almost finished with the first wheel well. Um, we are waiting to do the bed frame. We decided this was going to be best. So what I did was I have a couple of 2x1s and those are screwed to the floor as well as a 2x1 screwed to the metal up here. We have the plywood plates on the side. We'll be putting one in the front and then sandwiching one on top as well. I use some wood glue in between the cracks just to reduce any noise. I've heard that that helps. And then I've also kind of insulated inside the wood, so double insulation inside the wheel well. Hopefully that makes a difference. Um, so right now I'm going to find some plywood to be able to fit the length of this. And I think this will give me a really sturdy base to either put some bed support on or whatever else I might choose to do on this side. I know on the other side I want to do maybe a battery on top. I've seen people do that. So I think this is a really sturdy structure and it's very easy to build. All right, just got the face board for the front. It's flush. It's perfect. So now I'm going to take this thing. This is what I've been using to like kind of, okay, you can't see that. I feel like a makeup tutorialist and you still can't see it. Maybe. This is what I've been using. Can't see it still. Okay. To kind of pre drill a hole so whenever I put the screw in, it's flush. So I'm going to do this beforehand. One, two, three going up. That sounds good. And one, two, three on the other side. Put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom. Sounds good to me. Okay, so I drilled out all of the holes on the side. Switch my drill bit. Where did I put the thing? Looks good. I'm gonna pre drill the screws in so I don't have to wibble wobble while it's balancing on the thing. Alright, so I got some of the screws already drilled in. Beautiful. I know. Okay. Let's sandwich that. Alright. To my magic side I was in a magic city Going 50-50 I bet it all up on that red And they got real shifty Pity, pity It's a petty crime You see how people change their vibe When a screen up on their mind Okay, so we just got the 1x2 brace on the metal wall As well as the frame along the floor For the other wheel well for the plywood for this wall, I have to etch out a space for these wires as well as a little slit for the metal down here. So that's what I'm going to go do now. Four. I don't know what to do, but I need a lost count. 
Okay, last take. All right, and it's completely flush with the two by one by two. And it looks good on the bottom, so all I have to do is cut off the height and it'll be ready. Okay, so I got this side all notched out. We used the table saw to cut the length and the width. I pre-drilled the holes and then I've already got some half the screws halfway in. So I'm gonna get my wood glue, glue the sides, and then go ahead and screw it on. Push to close, pull to open. Ah. Explains why I was twisting for no reason the other day. Okay, so the wheel well on my left is like 99% finished. I'm going to spend some of my breaks tomorrow during work just gluing and screwing the top piece down. And then the wheel well to my right. Unfortunately, I couldn't finish it today. I didn't have enough plywood that was long enough to use it as the faceplate for it. But, so that's going to have to require a trip to the hardware store. And then hopefully once these wheel wells are done, I can start framing out my bed. Okay, so it's been a minute, but... My brother Luke ran to the hardware store for me and was able to get me some more plywood. So I went ahead and with Trent's help, we cut the length and the height. It's ready to go. I pre-drilled the little indents to make sure the screws sink good. I did a clear coat of the polyurethane paint to make sure it's water resistant. And so on this side right here is my AC unit for the back. Um, when I got the van, it came with this vent to vent out where the fan is. So right now I'm going to mark where this is and then go pre-drill the four holes so I can cut out the hole for this vent with the jigsaw. Also, so I'm planning to put most of the electrical components on the face of this wheel well. So like I have my charge controller, my inverter, the fuse block, bus bars, switches, all of that fancy stuff. So I did try to map some of this out. That's still a work in progress and it's also going to be a different video. So this vent really kind of limits where I can place things. I can only use about half of this because I think right in the middle of my wheel well is where the bed is going to end, which means this part's going to be exposed. So I can't have any electrical outside of that. All the electrical is going to be under the bed. So it's going to be under the bed on the left side of this face of the wheel well, working around this vent I have. Anyway. Let's mark it. All right, so I have a small drill bit right now just to do the holes to start off with to make sure everything looks good before I do a giant one. and triple checking and yeah I think that's gonna be good so I'm gonna go ahead and get a bigger drill bit so I can fit the jigsaw in it and connect the dots okay. wow that was fast Perfect. 
the vent on and I also put the screws into the face plate for my wheel well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have my wood glue. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the plywood that it's gonna be touching and start screwing it in. And my brother Luke is here to help me. So while I'm on the side, he's gonna make sure it's all flush on the side and then I'll move on to the top. seconds before he started complaining and I just made sure that the bottom and the top were flush on each side I screwed it in top here top there bottom here bottom there it's all square flush so I'm gonna go ahead and screw in the rest of these screws and I will have a 99% done wheel well I have the top already cut for this but for these tubes for the air condition I do have to jigsaw out a little arch <laughs> face on so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the top of it measure that out I know it has to be cut in some places and like I said I have to etch out that little arch for the air condition tubes to come out of finished screw down and the one right here behind me is 99% there I didn't finish screwing down this top because like I said I had to carve out a little U for those tubes for the AC and right now I'm kind of contemplating on where I want to put those exactly so once I figure that out it'll just be super easy to do so I'm not worried but my next video will be me building out my bed frame so make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see what's coming next